welcome back to my channel uh, today we are going to talk about active directory tomstone so guys you may know most of the time in interview we have been asked about tomstone okay so basically tomstone what is tomstone in active directory tomstone is a container object that contains the deleted objects from active directory okay it's a container which will contains deleted objects from active directory okay and when an object is deleted from active directory it is not physically removed from the ad for some days means what whenever we delete any account from the active directory it will not get deleted immediately means it will not get deleted physically immediately okay it will be there in tomstone container okay in what format it will get stored in is deleted attribute means what whenever we create any account there will be a is deleted attribute will get created okay and in that attribute nothing will be configured nothing means value won't be there but once we delete that object the value gets added which is true means that object is deleted from active directory okay so here is this line rather the ad sets the is deleted attribute of the deleted object okay value will be true that means that object is deleted and move it to special container called tomstone means that object will get moved to tomstone container so this is the basic process when we delete any object from active directory okay so now next question is how many days that deleted objects will be there in tomstone so basically there are different means there are uh, there is a tomstone lifetime is configured on the active directory services so based on operating system means it is depends on operating system what is the time configured for tomstone life cycle so in my in my second slide i will show you that in 2012 windows server 2012 tomstone lifetime is configured 180 days means whenever you delete any object it will it will be there in tomstone container for 180 days after 180 days it will get deleted physically means you won't be able to restore it okay whenever you delete object today it will be there in tomstone container for 180 days next 180 days after next 180 days it will get removed physically after that we won't be able to restore it but yes we can remove it uh, means restore it till 180 days after deletion okay so basically we have these are the operating systems based on operating system tomstone lifetime is default configured if you look at the 2003 uh, r2 service pack 2 it will be 180 days but before that on 2003 r2 uh, service pack 1 it will be 60 days but after 2003 r2 service pack 2 tomstone lifetime is increased from 60 to 180 days by default it has been configured 180 days from 2003 r2 service pack 2 okay it will be asked guys i am telling you it will be asked in interview what is the tomstone lifetime is it based on operating system or it is a default configuration yes it is default configuration but based on operating system okay so keep in mind so now the next question is how to verify 
what is tombstone configured in our infra so we have to use adsi editor to verify tombstone lifetime so we have this domain controller this is the primary domain controller from here i am going to use adsi edit run adsi edit.ms so i have opened adsi editor from here i have to just right click on ADSI, adsi editor connect to configuration partition this is a configuration partition okay click on okay see configuration partition is visible now i just need to expand it configuration partition then i have to move services container under the services container there is a windows nt container under the windows nt container there is a directory service if you right click on directory service you just need to click on properties so here under these attributes you will be able to see tombstone lifetime if i scroll down see the tombstone lifetime is configured 180 days by default i have not changed it this is by default value 180 days you can change it if you click on edit you can change it to 250 days not a problem see 250 days Click on apply and click on OK. So this is the use of Active Directory Tombstone. Okay guys, understood? I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to create a new video which will help you to enable Azure, sorry not Azure, Active Directory Recycle View. Okay. Whenever you delete any objects, it will move, it will automatically move to Tombstone container. But yes, you can restore it by using Active Directory Recycle View. So, I am going to create a new video. You can enjoy that video as well. Okay, thanks guys. Have a nice day. Bye.